Inventor's HSM 2D Pocket can be used either as a roughing or a finishing operation. Let's take a quick look. I will select 2D Pocket from the ribbon bar and we are presented with the properties to the left. The five tabs are always the same in Inventor HSM. They stay in the same order and has the same functions no matter what type of toolpath you use. This is done so it will be much easier to learn and remember using Inventor HSM. The first tab is always where you select your tool and input your feeds and speeds. Let me click on the tool button to access the tool library. I'll give you a quick tour. At the bottom you can create a new mill tool, new tool holder, new turning tool and then edit and select tools when we add them here in our workspace. I will select the cutter from the tool library to the left. I am going to scroll down and select the tutorial folder and here I have a 10 mm flat end mill. Let me click once to highlight the tool and click select. The second tab is geometry. This is where we can select what we want to machine. You can either select a face or an edge right on your inventor model. The great thing is, if there is a change later to your model, Inventor HSM will know and you can update the toolpath with a click of a button. You do not have to reprogram your part. The third tab is where you can adjust all your heights. The fourth tab is the passes tab. This has everything to do with the cutter engaged in the material. Here you can change the tool compensation, add finishing and depth passes and stock to leave. The fifth and last tab is all about the cutter not engaged in material. You have control over things like lead in, lead out and in the RAM section you can control how you enter the material such as by spiral, ramp, plunge and more. It does not take much effort in Inventor HSM to create a toolpath. Let me click OK and if I click Simulate and Play, you will see that we have created a 2D pocketing toolpath with just a few clicks.